Okay, first case was a 70-year-old. Can we turn the lights down a little bit, Lou? Thanks. Uh, she presented for routine screening, and then six months later began complaining of tender and rapidly growing breasts. She, sa she said to me, you know, my breasts seem to be getting bigger every day. It was a very, very strange situation. And when we looked at the uh, mammograms, it got even stranger because this is what it looked like initially, and this is an old case when I was a young man. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, she had a fairly normal pattern, a little bit of... Uh, uh, glandular tissue here and there, but no, nothing really uh, out, of, out of the ordinary. But when she came back six months later, this is how she looked. And true, sure enough, the breast did seem bigger. Uh, lots of uh, these fuzzy, uh, kind of fluffy areas of increased density, all, uh, truly looking mass-like. And in addition, lots of abnormal lymph nodes up in the uh, both axillae that weren't there before. So very strange case. Um, and so uh, she underwent biopsy, and uh, what is it? Well, it's just your average case of Burkitt's lymphoma, of course. Uh, I gave credit for lymphoma because all the, any of the lymphomas can do this. Uh, Burkitt's is kind of an unusual one. It's, it's usually a rapidly growing infiltrative process throughout the body. The breasts are not the unique uh, location for this disease. Uh, the breast tissue is replaced by a very dense population of rapidly dividing monotonous cells that are mixed with benign macrophages. And the uh, pathologist always described it as a starry sky kind of pattern on, on, uh, on histology. Uh, it's endemic in Africa, as you probably know, but it is found elsewhere, elsewhere throughout the world. Uh, and so it's a very strange kind of uh, lymphoma. Uh, and like I mentioned, any lymphoma can look like this on occasion. And certainly metastatic melanoma, some of the other metastatic diseases can present occasionally as these large uh, 